big fan of commuting by bike, but I am well aware that for others of you out there, there are some barriers in the way. So I'm nervous about traffic. Um, I'm very scared of cars and noise. I had a horrendous experience on the way home where I just stopped riding and I, I just ran out of energy. I, for one, also know that however much I do love it, there are days where I will choose the easier option. Maybe because I'm feeling a bit tired or life just feels too hectic. Or yes, sometimes it's just raining. But what would happen if you committed to doing it, riding to work for a whole month? Would it make you healthier, wealthier, happier, or tired, a little bit grumpy, frequently late, possibly? Well, to find out, we've enlisted some help from our friends here at GCN. We've got relative beginners like Harriet, those Morning. who want to save money, those who want to get back to fitness like Harry, and those who want a big challenge morning. like Stephen. Morning. Yeah, morning, morning, morning. morning. And we would like you lot to, morning, to join us as well. That lot are going to get started on Monday. We're going to be posting updates on their progress throughout the whole month. And we want to share your progress as well. So send it in on social media and particularly upload it to the GCN app and we will share it from GCN. Now, commuting has changed quite a bit over the last few years. More of us are now working from home, some or even all of the time. So we asked our volunteers what changes they are making over the next month. My name's Harriet and I'm going to try commuting for about 15 minutes every day by bike. And it's going to be scary. <laughs> Usually I commute by bus and uh, that's about three quid gone each way. Uh, so. I would like to save money um, from that, I think. I'm Ali, I work um, as a digital marketing manager and at the moment my commute is about 15 minutes. Um, it's very hilly and that's probably my challenge. So I'd say I'm doing currently about a half commute. So it's half walking, half bike, because I can't get up the hill. I've been doing like a lot of driving, so I had a car that um, I gave up during lockdown. Um, I just wasn't using it anymore, and I just thought, what is the need? And you can really see the environmental impact. So I actually thought, well, you know, and also the city is getting harder to park in, so a bike made sense, but also to really get my fitness up. So I'm a keen runner um, and out with injury, and cycling is a great way to kind of keep that fitness. So it was a bit of both, giving up my car and the fitness side. My name's Alice and I'm part of the design team here at Play Sports Network. So currently my commute looks like I just get up and drive into the office two days a week from South Bristol to Bath and it takes about an hour. First up, what if you're new to cycling to work? Manon is going to accompany Harriet on her first ride. It's not too far, it should only take them 15 minutes or so, but it is a step into the unknown. So can Manon give Harriet some tips? Harriet, you've got a brand new bike since the last time I, I saw do. you. I do. I'm very, very lucky <laughs> that I got it at a secondhand shop and um, it's just what I needed. It's the right size, I think. And um, yeah, just looking forward to starting my proper commuting journey. Oh, it's really good to hear. Yeah, so you're doing the commuting challenge. Very yes. exciting. Yes. Tell me a bit about your commute. What are you most worried about? Uh, traffic, absolutely, the traffic. Um, I'm worried about holding up other cars as well. Um, so hopefully, Hopefully I get over that fear. Yes, you <laughs> so, definitely will. But there's a lot yeah. of things you can do to make yourself feel safer. Having lights or reflectors, which you've already got, so that's a really good start when you're commuting quite early. Um, a lot of mistakes that beginners make is ride really close to the curb or you know quite in tight to the white yeah. line because yeah. um, you know they feel like they need to. But really, you're a lot safer if you step out a little bit, not in you know in the middle of the road, just a little bit out. Yeah. You also want to watch car doors as well and just don't worry about holding up traffic or being in the way. You are the queen of the road. You can do what you want within reason. But we've got some time now. Shall I take you for a spin? Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Build up your confidence. Let's go. Here we go. While Manon is helping Harriet, I've been speaking to some of our more experienced commuters. Steve has given himself a big old challenge, which I love. So Steve, your commute is a bit of an epic, isn't it? Talk me through it. Um, it is an epic, and it, um, it, the, the, the main concern is it's a big hill to get over the Mendips, and that's pretty much as soon as I leave my house. Um, 
but once that's out of the way, then it's then it's fairly standard, I would say, in terms of commuting. But but, but there is also quite a busy road all the way in. So yeah, it's sort of epic in traffic and distance. Yeah, and and time as well. Cause yeah, I think you're estimating about an hour forty-five, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it takes a bit longer going back for some reason, um, even though the the hill is more gradual going back. But yeah, it's a good it's a good hour and forty-five. How are, you, how are you going to fit it in? Um, well, it's all going to be, I mean, obviously the morning is absolutely crucial as to what time I get up, yeah. because that will, can potentially ruin the whole commute. Um, so just getting up earlier um, and, you know, having the discipline, I guess, at the end of the day, not to just work on through and actually try and leave at a sensible time. Uh, because, you know, potentially I could get back at eight o'clock at night, which isn't great for family and food and you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna take some effort, but yeah, lots of alarms set. <laughs> it should pay pay dividends for your fitness though, shouldn't it? I mean that's a good chunk of riding to do well, three days a week. That's yes. like that's really solid, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm hoping it will because um, that's part of the motivation for doing it because um, you know the last few years have been difficult for everyone everyone knows why so it's just nice to have a, a reason a motivational reason to get me out of the door on the bike yeah and that's a huge part of this is there anything you're nervous about yeah the whole the commute <laughs> the, the <laughs> commute challenge my bike. Um, yeah the time management as we as we've said uh, you know the road and and actually just fitting it all in and making it not detrimental to my working day because ultimately that's what I'm commuting to get to work yeah if I get to work knackered fall asleep uh, it's failed right so yeah yeah just blame blame GC yes I will I will be I will be <laughs> well I cannot wait to see how you get on I know you're gonna smash it but like I want to know how many k's you rack up how many meters of climbing you rack up how many calories you have to eat yes yeah We'll do another cut of this, right? When you're saying, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. <laughs> <laughs>15 kilometers along the flat canal, just a big 10 mile sprint basically. Now it's uh, 18 kilometers with 260 meters of climbing um, and a bit of more technical off-road, so yeah. Off-road as well? Yeah, a little bit. But I can choose, I can go on road or off, but generally I like to mix it up a bit. So, yeah. Brilliant. And is there anything that you're feeling nervous about then, just going back to this? Uh, yeah, mainly just like fueling for it. Yeah. Are you organised in terms of like, could you, are you that type of person that could give yourself a packed lunch in a morning and then bring that in with you? Because that can be really helpful. Yeah, I think so. Um, I can never think past a ham sandwich and a packet of crisps. <laughs> I need to uh, put a bit of work in there. But yeah, I think I could probably muster up something a bit more substantial. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, for me, one of the great things about like a hefty commute in on a bike is that you can eat yeah. what you like. So I used to find, when I was doing five days a week on the bike, that I'd need to think about mid-morning. Like yeah. 11s is, was like a big thing for me. So I'd have like cereal in the office. So I'd have a massive bowl of like granola or something. Yeah. And then I'd have lunch. Because otherwise, you can end up spending a fortune, can't you? Yes. Like, yeah. you know, you're in the office and it's 10 in the morning and you're starving. So you go to the shop and then you go out for your lunch. And then before long, you've like, you know, racked yeah. up quite a bit at the end of the month. Spent the money you saved on the commute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah I, if there's one thing I would do is bring some stuff in, whether it's like, you know, sandwiches or, or whatever, I think yeah. that can really help. Cool, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get stocked up over the next week before the challenge starts. Yeah, do it, man, do it.
How are you finding it? Very. <laughs> it's, it's fine once uh, you know Paul's going to overtake you. Anything. Yeah. I'll, I'll just go bad holding people up. No, don't be. Oh, right, okay. Queen of the road. That's exactly. Queen of the road. <laughs> but you're riding in like exactly the right place. Okay. Not too far into yeah. the curb. Right. Smashing it. On your new bike. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Off we go. Feel better? Yeah, we had to overtake some traffic at one point. We had to go through this really thin bit next to a bus. <laughs> it's a bit scary, but I did, uh, I did yeah. it. Yeah. So no. the there we go. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be just fine. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll keep you updated on the progress, but we'd love to know how you get on as well. We'll leave the exact details on how you take on this challenge down to you. But for those of you who work from home, you could always head out the door before work or do a virtual commute on Zwift. That's all we ask is that you set yourself a goal, share your experiences with us, let us know how much fitter you got, did it make you happier, and did it save you money? To share your stories with us, all you need to do is use the hashtag commutewithgcn. You can do that on social media or in the GCN app.